There are three main ways to integrate another person's idea into your writing. Quoting, paraphrasing, and summarizing. We'll look at each of these here and discuss when and how to use each method. When you quote someone, you use their exact words surrounded by quotation marks. Here's an example of a quotation from a book chapter about plagiarism. These are the exact words I read in the original source. I've added a citation in parentheses so my reader knows where the quote came from. There are a few good reasons to quote someone directly. First, it's easy. You don't need to summarize, interpret, or rewrite anything. Also, their words may be really interesting, emotional, or they may relate to the topic in a way that's really impactful. Finally, the writing itself may be the topic that you're exploring, like in an English literature paper, for example. But there are also a few drawbacks. Using another person's words too often can take your original voice out of the paper. Your professors want to read your work, not a completely patched together collection of other people's ideas. Using direct quotations means that you're only really presenting one idea at a time. If you want to compare and contrast with another source or your own ideas, you'll need to find another way. Also, when you quote unnecessarily, it may look to your professor like you didn't really understand the ideas well enough to put them into your own words. Basically, you should only quote directly if the original source is worded in a way that is necessary for your reader to fully understand the concept. Paraphrasing is putting another person's ideas into your own words. Your words shouldn't change the meaning, but they should change the overall structure of the original idea. For this example, I've taken the quote from before and paraphrased it to fit my writing style. Notice that the meaning of the idea hasn't changed, but it will now fit better into my own work. Also, notice that I'm still citing the original source. Even when you paraphrase, you'll still need to cite and reference your sources. There are lots of good reasons to paraphrase instead of quoting directly. Paraphrasing makes the ideas fit better into your paper. Because your paper will be mostly your own original writing, these ideas will work better if they're in your own voice, not the voice of another person. When you paraphrase, you're better able to compare and contrast the ideas with your own or those of another researcher. You can share another person's ideas and analyze or critique them in the same sentence, which is something that is harder to do if you quote directly. The original wording may be overly complicated or confusing, and might benefit from being stated more simply, which is something you can do if you paraphrase. And finally, paraphrasing shows your reader that you have understood the idea and can share it in your own words. Unlike quoting and paraphrasing, a summary focuses only on the main idea from a source. While the other methods point to specific parts of the source and the specific ideas in those parts, a summary will give a general overview of what the source, for example, an article, chapter, or book, is saying. Here I'm summarizing the same source we cited previously. A couple of things to note about summaries. First, they're usually fairly brief. When we summarize, we're trying to get to the core idea presented in a work, so it's usually quite short. Also, I have again cited the original source, but this time I didn't need to provide a page number because the summary refers to the entire source, not to a specific page. Summaries can be a really effective way to use another writer's ideas in your work. Here are some reasons why. Because you're referencing the entire source, summaries help you to identify the overall meaning of the sources you're using so that you can start to draw conclusions and understand your topic better. Summaries are great for comparing the ideas from two or more sources. Because you're using the whole source, you can see which sources agree or disagree on a certain topic. Also, summaries show that you're not just patching together a bunch of different ideas out of their context, but are really understanding and assessing the different sources you've used. This may seem like a lot of information to take in, but don't worry, you have lots of time as a student to learn how to use these techniques to integrate other people's ideas into your work. What's really important to remember is that when you use an idea from a source in your work as a university student, you need to acknowledge where that idea came from and give the original author credit. In the next section, we'll look at the specifics of how to cite and reference sources in an academic paper.